Hi everyone, and welcome again to my audiovisual channel. This video, in this video, I want to muse a little bit about talent, uh, artistic, any kind of talent. And um, please do let me know what you think. What is talent? Do you think it, it, it exists? Do you think it has any bearing in a person's life? Um, do you think it determines their success in, you know, or let's talk about art. Do you think it determines their success in the visual arts field? Um, yes, tell me those things. So I guess I will start with, you know, those are the things kind of that I want to talk about in other things that I have mused about. Uh, regarding the subject and also because I had a conversation about it with my husband recently that I liked a lot about the very subject of talent. So, okay, so first of all, maybe I should look up what the fuck talent means. All right, give me a second. Um, all right, what do I understand by the word talent? Um, I understand the term talent as a person having an ability specific to them by default. So if I'm an artist and I like to draw the figure, I have a talent for the figure, and talent insinuates that I was somehow born with the disability and that I would be good at it whether I had practice or not, okay? Uh, so that's kind of what I understand, let's see. Um, All right, so Merriam-Webster says, special, uh, a special, often athletic, creative, or, arti or artistic aptitude. Okay, that's what um, Merriam-Webster says. Wikipedia says, Aptitude or talent, a group of aptitudes useful for some activities. Talents may refer to aptitudes themselves or to possessors, possessors, possessors of those talents. Uh, let's see. Other definitions? No. Dictionary. A special natural ability or aptitude. All right, so they keep using the word aptitude. What does aptitude mean? An inherent ability as for learning, a talent. The condition or quality of being suitable, appropriateness. Merriam-Webster says the meaning of aptitude is inclination, tendency. Cambridge Dictionary says a natural ability or skill. Wikipedia says an aptitude is a component of a competence to do a certain kind of work at a certain level. Outstanding aptitude can be considered talent, in quotes. Uh -huh. Okay, is that enough? I think, well, maybe. Um, in the word aptitude, certainly it's insinuated that there's something... Because as one says, an inherent ability and... This, uh, the Cambridge one says a natural ability. So I think it might just be alluding to that being something that a person is born with. And I personally have a problem with that. Um, I both like and dislike when somebody tells me, I oh, guy, you're so talented. Because obviously that person is complimenting me, so I like that. Um, however, I don't like that. What I don't like about it is that what's being, you know, they might, it, it may or may not be on purpose, I don't know. It do doesn't really matter. Um, but what I don't like about, just in general, of the usage of the word talent is that it 
talks it, it it's like insinuates about something just genetic that is just there and so like if you're talking about somebody that draws the figure um that person supposedly because of this alleged natural aptitude that they have from birth they're able to draw the figure perfect just very well at any point in their life without any kind of practice and i aside from from just exceptions because exceptions exist i'm sure there's people like that aside from exceptions which i'm not considering here because uh similarly to dennis dutton's um, argument about not defining art because it becomes a discussion about whether the the Duchamp's urinal is art or not. You're talking about outliers. It's like you should be looking at the things that are obviously art instead of trying to just have endless discussions about that. So here I'm not talking about those exceptions. They exist. That's good for them. But <clears throat> I'm talking about the great majority of the human population. We like to blame things on or blame or attribute uh, things to our genes uh, because it's the easiest thing to do and forget that forget about the malleability of human skill the human body the human brain and all of this stuff and so it's just easier to be like oh no he can run really fast because he has uh, which are the no, he can, uh, he can jump really fast because he has uh, Maasai ancestry or some shit like that. And it's like, that guy was probably running his whole life, practicing how to do it really well. And, um, you know, when, when the term talent is used, it's, it's kind of belitt belittling that commitment of the person to consistently practice and polish their skill in my opinion. Um, do you think that? Please tell me. Um, however, I think, and this is the part of the conversation that I had with my husband that I really quite liked, was um, what looks like talent, again in the greater, in the greater population, what looks like talent, I think, has to do more with interest, being interested in something. And it's not that, I mean, aside from physical limitations to do stuff, it's not that people, it's not that like, I can't run really fast. It's just that I'm not interested in running really fast. Um, and like, again, aside from physical limitations, it's like a guy or a woman with longer legs obviously is gonna run faster than me, but that doesn't, remove my capability of learning to run really fast. Like if I practiced, I would be able to get to running really fast probably. And if I had started really soon, like when I was 10 years old, I would probably be able to run super fucking fast. Okay. Um, so again, we forget, you know, humans, we just always forget about the malleability and the flexibility of the body, the mind, psychology, just, just our malleability in general. Um, so I think the, what is maybe a more difficult conclusion to come to is the part about interest. Um, everyone or, you know, often people are interested in different things. So I'm interested in drawing and I'm interested in drawing the figure and I'm interested in drawing the portrait. So because I've been doing that for a long time, I have become really good at it. Okay. So, and even though I have this drawing skill that I have taking care to polish and you know maybe not even taking care to polish but just because I was interested in that it was like the interest drove the desire to be better at it and 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 so because I had that specific interest of the figure and portraiture all other skill of drawing anything else is completely fucking neglected and don't ask me to draw a landscape because I don't know how to fucking do it you know so it doesn't mean that I have like a genetic aptitude to draw the figure and the portrait. It just means that I have practiced that a lot from early on and I didn't practice drawing a landscape because I wasn't, am not interested in it. So I think that what we're calling um, talent really comes from interest. And interest 
Um, I don't know where that comes from. I think, or I like to think that it's kind of a sign, quote unquote, in a way by nature, because, you know, mother nature, um, because everyone has different interests or, you know, you know, people cluster according to their interests, but I'm, well, and I'm not saying that, uh, 7 million humans have 7 million different interests. I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, that might be kind of like the innate part. It's like, maybe it's like. I mean, I'm willing to kind of grant that part as a genetic thing. I might have been born with the interest of drawing the figure and drawing portraits. Maybe. Um, I So <laughs> I want to mention that again because I just think that we tend to over rely on certain things when it comes to just how the body and how a human works. And I don't think everything is necessarily calibrated by genetics. Um, a lot of things change a lot throughout one's life. Um, anyway, so what I think is that everyone, you know, it, per, different people have different interests. And then that interest is what drives their desire to get better at that. And so when they have gotten really good at that, or as other people see them progressing, they're like, oh my God, you're so talented. And it's like, no, I'm interested in this. So I'm practicing a lot. And so I've gotten better at it. Um, so, you know, I didn't take any notes for this. I just uh, wanted to talk about it. And I guess I might have something to say about it afterwards. I just have a problem with how much we want to lazily ascribe to genetics and then just forgetting that how multiple how easy it is to kind of change things about us if we just try to do it um and uh anyway please tell me what you think about this um you know in interest versus talent um I mean, if I have forgotten something, I might have to just make another video about it. But for now, this is going to be it. Thank you very much for listening. Please tell me what you think. Please, you know, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I have several, uh, well, I don't know how many videos at this point, but a handful of videos discussing some, you know, stuff about, uh, just about art related things. Um, art quotes and whatever, and I'm planning on making more for sure. So please tell me what you think. Um, just in general what is talent does it exist is it genetic is it not genetic why or why not um please explain because i want to understand thank you again and have a lovely day